In this podcast episode, Brianna Wu discusses her journey from being a progressive Democrat to standing up against the extreme elements within her own party. She talks about how she used to dismiss cancel culture and other issues as nonsense until she personally experienced the consequences of speaking out against the progressive fringe. She highlights the growing tendency within the progressive movement to align with extremist groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, which she finds alarming and morally wrong. Brianna reflects on past instances where she chose to remain silent on certain issues, such as anti-Semitic sentiments within the Women's March, and now regrets not speaking up sooner. She acknowledges the need for progressives to address real policy issues like healthcare, rather than getting caught up in culture wars and divisive rhetoric. She emphasizes the importance of standing up to cultural bullies and returning to a focus on science and reality in discussions. The conversation delves into the challenges faced by those who speak out against the extreme elements within their own party, including backlash, loss of friends, and damage to reputation. Brianna expresses a desire for more backbone within the left to confront and address these issues rather than allowing them to continue unchecked. She also points out the double standard of holding the right accountable for their extremists while ignoring or excusing similar behavior on the left. Brianna shares her realization that the left has veered away from reality and lost touch with the concerns of everyday Americans, leading to a disconnect that contributed to the rise of Donald Trump. She emphasizes the need for progressives to engage with a broader audience, including moderates and Republicans, that in order to build support for policies that address real-life issues and improve people's lives. Brianna reflects on her own journey of awakening to the realities of the political landscape and the importance of learning from the lessons of the Trump era. She emphasizes the need for the left to listen to the concerns of working-class Americans and develop a message that resonates with their struggles and aspirations. She calls for a shift away from divisive rhetoric and towards a more inclusive and pragmatic approach to politics. The conversation touches on the decline of feminism due to its focus on boutique cultural issues rather than core policy concerns. Brianna laments the loss of focus on structural solutions that could benefit women, such as access to health care and reproductive rights. She acknowledges the need for feminism to appeal to a wider audience by addressing practical issues that affect women's lives. Brianna acknowledges the importance of national security and the need for a strong stance on issues such as Ukraine and NATO. She highlights the significance of maintaining a clear chain of command in the military and upholding democratic values. While she praises Biden for his efforts in areas like combating ISIS, she also acknowledges the challenges faced in handling situations like the withdrawal from Afghanistan. The conversation touches on the need for a balanced approach that combines strength with diplomacy in dealing with geopolitical challenges. The discussion shifts to immigration and border security, with both Brianna and the host agreeing on the necessity of securing the border and addressing issues like sex trafficking and drug smuggling. Brianna criticizes the Democratic Party for its failure to take a stronger stance on border security, attributing this to a fear of being labeled as racist or losing Latino votes. She emphasizes the importance of having a legal process for immigration and the need for a more robust system to handle cases effectively. Brianna points out some positive aspects of Biden's domestic policies, such as managing inflation and handling the COVID-19 pandemic. She commends the administration for its efforts in vaccine distribution and reopening schools. However, she also acknowledges the challenges faced in areas like healthcare and economic inequality, calling for a more proactive approach to address these issues. Throughout the conversation, Brianna expresses frustration with the current state of the Democratic Party, particularly the influence of progressive factions that she perceives as being out of touch with reality. She criticizes the lack of pragmatism and the tendency to prioritize ideological purity over effective governance. She advocates for a more balanced and practical approach to policymaking, one that addresses the concerns of working-class Americans and focuses on tangible solutions to real-world problems. 
Despite her concerns about the current state of the Democratic Party, Brianna remains hopeful that change is possible. She believes that by speaking up and pushing back against extreme ideologies, there is a chance to steer the party in a more constructive direction. She sees a potential for a shift towards more sensible and effective governance if enough people within the party are willing to challenge the status quo and prioritize practical solutions over ideological purity. Brianna expresses her concerns about the upcoming election, stating that she believes it will be close. She highlights the importance of the ground game in winning elections and mentions that the Democratic Party's data strategy has been effective. However, she criticizes Joe Biden's messaging and expresses her disappointment in his candidacy, feeling that he is too old to be an effective leader. She mentions that she would have preferred candidates like Elizabeth Warren to run for president instead. She also discusses the need for the Democratic Party to address the concerns of young men and to find ways to engage with them effectively. The conversation also delves into transgender issues, with Brianna sharing her views on the topic. She emphasizes the importance of having honest conversations about transgender issues and the need for better policies and support for transgender individuals. She acknowledges the complexities of the issue, including the challenges faced by children who may be confused about their gender identity. She stresses the importance of not rushing into medical interventions for children and the need for more research and understanding in this area. Brianna also touches on the topic of wokeness in society. She expresses concerns about the politicization of gender issues and the impact it has on public discourse. She mentions the need for a more balanced and respectful conversation around gender identity and the importance of allowing different perspectives to be heard. One of the key points Brianna raises is the challenges faced by young men in society today. She discusses the loneliness, confusion, and lack of direction that many young men experience, particularly in the digital age. She highlights the importance of providing support and guidance to young men and the need for public figures who can connect with them in meaningful ways. She emphasizes the role of institutions and culture in shaping young men's identities and calls for a more proactive approach to addressing their needs.